Hi, welcome back, guys. In previous lesson, we just create an animation for the character. In this lesson, we are going to create a script to run this character. You can either add script from here, new script, or just go to the scripts and create C sharp. Just name it Player Moment Tu for tutorials. You just can create it Player Moment. So select the Player Game object and assign the script to it. Okay, Player Moment Tu, and right click and edit it. Okay, so let's first create some public variable. Public f l o t float f o r w r the forward speed is equal to 5.0 f semicolon. Copy it, paste it, and name it on speed. Okay, we also let's copy it and write it for jump speed to right now. So we didn't need to write it afterwards. J u m p jump speed let's put jump speed value to 300 okay okay let's see what is going to happen here it's created a, a float variable and you can just change the number over here 50 other animators can work over there and uh, let's see uh, next what we're going to do is move this character by rigid worry velocity so go to the script editor and we don't need a star function and we also need an access to this animator so how we are going to get access to this animator let's write a variable called this time write a private p r i v a t private private animator a n i m anim okay we also do need to call this animation well uh, the game is awake let's write a awake function v o i d void a w a k awake it's called when game is awake before then it started so what is anim so let's select the anim and give it a value anim is equal to what anim is equal to okay for a while let's comment it anim is equal to we do need to access this animator so what how we are going to access it's on a children of the game object so we do need to do is anim is equal to what get component in children let's go and select in children okay what component we do need to access animator component open close bracket so write a n i m a t o r animator okay now it's going to access this animator component of the play game object now how we are going to move the character so right let's delete this all of this start and awake function let's just write vo i the void fix update what fix update means is it's going to call every frame so what we need to do to move this character let's just first we do need to say which button is going to move this character so let's define f l o a t float v is equal to what float b is equal to input dot get access okay not raw get access what get access it inside a double call so v e r t i c a l vertical okay what does this means it's a predefined attribute by the unity if you want to find it out just go to the edit project setting input manager it's going to so vertical means if negative button is equal to down and positive button is equal to up and so the way s and w is going to work for it uh, for this you can go and check out the unity script api so let's just go over and what let's define what vertical is going to do what we want to do from write r i g i d rigid rigid body dot velocity is equal to what n e w new vector 3 what vector 3 means is x y and z so we didn't want to do anything on x so let's see okay 0 comma 0 comma 0 for a while write this for every attribute and let's see how our character is set up okay select the character okay we want character to move up in a g direction when we press the up arrow what we are going to do is go to its 
we didn't want anything to happen x y just we want just put the view over here so okay save now what is going to happen okay let's play it. go to the unity play the animation we'll go into the game mode it's going to move but it's not moving fast enough so what we're going to do is to control its movement we're going to copy this forward speed and let's multiply it by v okay copy now what we're going to get let's just play the go to the unity and if you hit the play now if you hit it's going to move fast and if we change the value over here to 20 okay it's going to move faster if you get change the value to 100 okay I believe it's going to be a superman okay <laughs> more the, f the flash is more recommended for that so let's go over here okay it's done but what we want this character to, to jump while we add a jump function so what we're going to do is write r i g i d rigid body dot v e l o c i t y velocity dot y afterwards we can attach the jump function on it take a walk step while we press the up arrow so let's go over here and call the animation function a n i m anim set float what do we want to do on set float we just want to go over here and copy this attribute we want this attribute to work while we are going to hit the up arrow button paste it walk speed and it's also a name defined over there so just write it comma v so what is going to happen while we go to this now hit play okay it's going to run the problem is we didn't want it to run we want it to run while we just hit shift plus up arrow so let's go and make this functionality what we do need to do to make this work if you go through this blend tree okay let's get out first here's a blend tree out here okay what happened if we put the value to 0.5 it will work and if you put the value to 1 it will run so what we are doing is we are putting the value to the 1 if you hit 0 0.5 okay 0 0.5 f save it and go over here and hit it play again but the problem it will keep working so in next lesson we are going to fix this problem and make it run and walk both